I'm in the final stretch of the 12 Days of Texas Whiskey provided by the Crowded Barrel Whiskey Company in Austin, Texas. It's day 10 and I am ready to taste it. Let's do this. Welcome to Whiskey Riffs. If you're new here, I'm Kevin. And if you've been following along with this Texas whiskey exploration, these 12 days of Texas whiskey, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And any comments you have on it, I'd love to hear those in the uh, comments. <laughs> comments in the comments. I appreciate anything you have to offer. And let me know if you've actually had any of these whiskeys in this box. And if you're lucky enough to get one of these boxes. They were hard to get after I ordered this. I thought they'd be around a little bit longer, but you know, Rex and Daniel and their crew over at the Whiskey Tribe are very popular, so it makes sense. Let me go ahead and grab day nine out of here. I think I've gone through enough of these bottles that I know exactly where I'm going. Yes, got that down. All right, put this over here. Let's get a glass. Today we have a straight malt whiskey from the Andalusia Whiskey Company, and it's at 125.5 proof or 62.75% ABV. Again, these are 50 milliliter bottles, which makes it really nice to be able to pour a little bit and then have some for later. I do have a wrap up video coming, which will sum up my experiences with these 12 days. And it's nice to have a little bit of whiskey from each one so I can do a review and catch up on maybe some of the taste that I might have missed going forward with this process. This is from the Whiskey Tribe, Rex and Daniel, who started this several years ago on the, um, the Whiskey Vault channel, actually. YouTube channels that have trained me and taught me a lot about not just whiskey, but how to enjoy whiskey and how to create a community. And that's kind of what I've been trying to do here with Whiskey Riffs, is create a community and share these whiskey ideas and these whiskey notes, because whiskey is a lot more fun when you're sharing it with others. Now, onto the whiskey. This is another Texas whiskey, which means another dark whiskey. I don't think any of these in the box could have any hope of being light in color, especially when they're all called straight, or most of them are called straight. I think there's one that wasn't. But if they're straight, that means they've been in new oak charred casks for at least two years. Two years in Texas heat in new oak gets you a lot of color. <laughs> there's no avoiding it. All right, let's see what the nose is on this one. Yeah, see, that's that's really nice. I like my my malt whiskeys. That's uh, it's a special place for me. I'm getting malt, and I'm getting a little bit of leather note, a little bit of a, I want to say a wine note for some reason. Kind of a, a, a thicker wine, like a, a, not dessert wine, but um, what am I trying to say? But more like a cognac than a wine, I guess. So I'm getting a couple notes of darker fruits. Getting some plums and some, some dark uh, raspberries. This might be the uh, fruitiest nose yet on any of them. There might be a hint of citrus there, but it's very mild. It might be a little bit of orange nose. But yeah, I really am enjoying the nose on this one. Ooh, first taste is really nice. This could be skyrocketing up to my favorite Texas whiskey so far. Wow. All right, so this tastes like a sherry finished malt whiskey which is confusing because i'm not sure if any of these are doing any kind of special finishing or anything else it's certainly a small bottle they don't have to qualify too much in these tasting bottles but this definitely tastes like it has some sort of sherry influence or, or yeah port no nah, it's more like sherry it's more sherry it's more the the raisins and the and the darker fruits oh i really like that this is definitely my favorite so far. I'm so happy with day nine. Wow, there's not a lot of spice and not a lot of bite. There's just that nice, thick, long finish. There's the um, little bit of dark chocolate notes. There's a lot of berries and, and plums and, and just that, uh, that darker sweetness. And the ABV isn't causing, or there isn't a lot of heavy wood spice. So I'm gonna have to do my research on this one because I think uh, they've got something going on here with the cast that I wasn't uh, expecting. Yeah, I really like this one. I'm in danger of pouring more into this class, which I better not do. Uh, I will pour a little water in here, just a touch because 
I think it's at a really good point already. So I don't want to put too much into this and change it too radically much because I'm really enjoying the notes and I drank enough of it that I can't put too much water in. The amount of water you can put in has, is a factor of the ABV. It's a factor of how much fluid you have in your glass. And you know, you always want to err on the side of less water than more. Sometimes I get a little aggressive with throwing water in because I'm trying to see what I can change here. But that really might blow past a really nice sweet point for some tastings. It made the nose a little more leathery. You know, ramped up the the spice and the, the burn level. Like right now I'm getting this bloom of alcohol burn and spice in my mouth that I wasn't getting uh, without touching the proof, which is pretty impressive because 125 proof, that is that is up there. So I wouldn't have expected to be so gentle on that level of a proof. Put a few more drops in, but I don't wanna go crazy here. Even though it's a high proof, I, I really had a nice taste when I first drank it at, at the full proof. Yeah, it's still good uh, with a little bit of water in it. I really enjoyed it at cast drink. I'm not gonna go ahead and uh, pour any more in here. I'll save that for later because I am going to investigate this whiskey. This may be a Texas whiskey that I end up buying. Hmm. Stay tuned, see what the wrap up says. Yeah, I really like this whiskey, but I did like it without water. Now it's got more uh, spice and more uh, heat on it. You tell me if you've had anything from Andalusia Whiskey Company and what your thoughts are, especially about their straight malt whiskey. This was great. I have uh, day 10, wait a minute. I'm on day 10. I did, this, I did this whole video saying it was day nine. Oh my God, that's embarrassing. All right, I haven't had any whiskey today. This is my first dram, but obviously I can't count. So uh, tomorrow will be day 11, not day 10. And until tomorrow, day 11, take care of yourself. Take care of those people around you. I'm